what's up guys welcome back to mass guide gaming and i know i've not made videos in a long time but anyways let's just get back straight to where we dropped actually this is not where we dropped we actually used to make gaming videos but anyways today we're gonna do an adobe premiere pro tutorial where i'm going to show you how you can make cinematic videos so this is just gonna be the basics uh, so i'm not gonna show you any transitions or like uh, the effects so this is gonna be the basics where you can change any clip uh, and make it like cinematic and make it pretty cool so what we're gonna do is actually drag a video I'm gonna drag this one and drop it straight into Premiere Pro into the timeline so this is the video right here in this video I have captured my friend where he is going to top uh, where he is going to the top of the mountain let's just call this thing a mountain or a rocky mountain or a hill or anything uh, so uh, first of all we are gonna unlink the audio channel and delete this because we don't need the audio we are gonna change the audios anyways so this is the video mm. so the first thing we are gonna do is actually stabilize this video because without stabilization this video sucks as you can see there's a lot of camera movement in this video so first of all we're gonna uh, use warp stabilizer just go into the effects panel and type warp stabilizer and drag on uh, this on top of the video and this is gonna show you it's analyzing it in the background two steps step one out of two uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time but we can wait anyways So the video is now stabilized and as you can see this is much more smoother than it was before. It's also a little bit cropped up but it doesn't matter the video is smooth that's what we wanted. So this looks pretty good. So the next step we're gonna do is actually nest this clip right over here. Click on nest. This is gonna create uh, a nested sequence. I'm gonna call this uh, I don't know cool walk anything. So why we need to nest the sequence is just basically you cannot use two effects like speed and warp stabilizer on the same video at the same time. I just don't know Adobe Premiere Pro doesn't let you do that. But anyways, so what we're gonna do now is actually change the speed of the video, reduce it to like 50% because this is gonna help us not only in making the video look better and more cinematic, but it just looks way too good to watch. So speed and duration click on speed and change it to like any speed you want I'm gonna keep it 50% for this video and in time interpolation you're gonna change it from free sampling to optical flow now why you wanna keep it to optical flow is just because optical flow creates additional frames once you slow down the video the video might get choppier so optical flow creates additional uh, frames to smoothen out the video in simple words that's what it does just click on ok now as you can see uh, this whole area has turned red. This means we need to render this effect to see its actual implications. So as you can see, the video is like smooth. It's not like that smooth. Just like slow and steady, and at the same time stabilized. So, so what we're gonna do now is actually render this effect to see. But before we do that, we can actually edit the video and change the coloring and stuff. So that would be better. So. It's not like the video is not gonna work at all. It's not that bad. So just click on uh, the effects and then go to color panel and then change the coloring of the video because coloring of the video decides the whole mood of the video. So uh, in creative panel, I'm gonna mm, click and choose any pretty good LUT. There are actually a lot of LUTs. You can also find them on internet. Uh, and there are a lot of LUTs by Adobe themselves. I'm gonna use any simple which is given by Adobe. Let's see the SL Blue Eyes. This looks pretty good. It's just changed the whole video look to like a little bit bluish. And I'm gonna change the intensity from 100 to like 150. So this looks pretty good. And the next thing we're gonna do is actually go to the widget panel and add a little bit of like darker edges to the air end because i just like some dark edges to the outer areas we can keep it like a little something like this 
this looks pretty good i just like you can you don't need to do this but i just like it this way looks pretty good something about this time yeah this looks perfect so the next thing we're gonna do is uh on the video we're gonna add the crop effect just go to effect controls click on the video and in the effects panel choose crop and drag this effect on top of the video uh, so what this gonna do is actually uh, it's gonna allow you to crop up the video from top and bottom to create create those cinematic bars which you see in the movies and all those music videos so in crop effect just uh, choose 15 at the top and 15 at the bottom my subject is already in the center this looks pretty good so the last step we need to do is actually insert the music because the music's gonna decide the whole vibe to the video so i'm gonna choose one of the few let's see songs i'm gonna go to the downloads folder i had a song like it's from ben sounds copyright free it looks pretty good there you go ben sounds summer drag it on top of into the premiere pro Now this is not the part of the sound that I want in the video. I actually want it like to the little slower part. Something right there. Yep. I'm gonna crop this up. Put it to the start. Crop this up. And actually lower the volume a little. Uh, minus 12 decibels or something like this like minus 10 decibels looks pretty good i'm gonna play this and this is actually how this video is gonna look i hope you guys enjoy this video uh, don't forget to share subscribe like uh, the usual stuff goodbye take care